Now, have you ever wondered what it would be like if your pizza was designed by a robot? Now, let's set the stage here. AI in the kitchen isn't just some futuristic concept, it's happening right now. Restaurants and food enthusiasts are turning to AI to help create new and exciting dishes. But the big question is, can a machine really come up with something that'll make your taste buds dance? Or is this just a recipe for disaster? Do you like what I did there? Recipe for the... So first off, let's talk about the rise of AI in the culinary world. AI tools like the ever popular ChatGPT are being used by restaurants to generate recipes. Now on paper, that sounds pretty cool, right? A machine that can analyze thousands of recipes, combine flavors in ways that we might never think of and come up with something completely new. But as with anything that sounds too good to be true, there is a catch. Let's take a look at a case study that might help us decide if this is genius or madness. Dodo Pizza in Dubai is a great example. This guy's Spartak, he's the head of menu development for Dodo Pizza in Dubai. He decides to put AI to the test. Dubai is a melting pot of cultures with 90% of its population being immigrants. Spartak wanted a pizza that would capture this cultural diversity. So he asked ChatGPT to create a pizza that would represent Dubai's mix of cultures. The AI came up with a topping that included shawarma chicken, grilled paneer cheese, za'atar herbs, and a tahini sauce. Now, if you're thinking, hey, that sounds a bit odd for a pizza, you're not alone. Spartak himself said he would never have put those ingredients together. But here's the kicker. The pizza was a massive hit. Customers loved it. It's still on the menu to this day, and it's selling like hotcakes, or should I say hot pizza? Probably sells more than hotcakes. Uh, but not all of AI's creations were winners. There were some serious duds, like a pizza with strawberries and pasta. And my personal favorite disaster, a pizza with blueberries and breakfast cereal. <laughs> Let's just say those didn't make it to the menu. Brian, Brian, sounds like your dinner mate. Cold pizza and old cereal. He's eating them together, isn't he? Now, over in the US, a similar experiment was happening in Velvet Taco in Dallas. Venetia Willis, the culinary director, was curious about what AI could bring to the table. <laughs> See, table food. She asked ChatGPT to come up with a taco of the week. The results were interesting. Some of the combos it suggested were pretty out there, like red curry with coconut tofu and pineapple. I'm not sure about you, but that doesn't exactly scream delicious taco to me. Also, side note, my partner is from Mexico. I think they may have a slight breakdown if they hear that ingredient list. However, out of the air's quirky suggestions, Venetia found a gem. A taco with prawns and steak. They put it on the menu and get this, they sold 22,000 of them in a week. That's not just a win, that's a home run. Venetia said that whilst AI is a great tool to get the creative juices flowing, she'd never completely trust it to take over. There's always got to be a human element to validate the recipes. And after hearing about some of those funky combinations, I think we can all agree that's probably for the best. Nan! Nan! I forgot you're on the run from the police. Nan! Nan! Is your Brussels sprout pie AI generated? What do you mean it was your grandmother's recipe? But not everyone is a fan of AI in the kitchen. Julian de Ferral, a cocktail creator in London, avoids using AI altogether. He says it just doesn't make sense to him. AI lacks the common sense and intuition that are crucial in the culinary arts, and he's not wrong. AI doesn't think like a human. It's not creative in the same way that we are. It's pulling from data that it's been fed. Now, Emily Bender, a linguistics professor at the University of Washington, put it bluntly. AI chatbots aren't magic. They're just spitting out information they've absorbed from the internet. So when AI suggests a recipe, it's likely pulling ideas from somebody's food blog or a recipe site. And that raises some ethical questions. If AI is just regurgitating somebody else's work, then what does that mean for the original creators? Could it harm their ability to make a living from their recipes? Now, personally, I think that gives short shrift to AI. So whilst AI is just fancy autocomplete, the reality of giving it so much data means that it has the entirety of human knowledge to draw upon. And what that means in reality is really good results. Now, while AI might not be perfect for creating brand new recipes, it does have some other uses in the culinary world. Take Waitrose, for example, the fancy supermarket chain. They're using AI to spot rising food trends on social media. You know, those smash burgers that have been all over your Instagram feed. Waitrose saw that trend coming thanks to AI, and now they've launched their own version in stores. Same with Crookies. No matter how advanced AI gets, there's always going to be a need for the human touch. AI might be able to throw out a thousand different recipe ideas, but it takes a person to decide if they're actually going to taste good together. AI-generated recipes can be both tasty and tasteless. Also, since my nan went on the run after last week, it's all I've got to cook for me. What am I having for dinner tonight? Cheese and bean rice krispies. To summarize, AI is being used in the culinary world to create new recipes with some successful dishes like Dodo Pizza's multicultural pizza in Dubai. But 
also some bizarre failures. Now, while AI can inspire creativity, it does lack the intuition and common sense of human chefs, leading to mixed results in recipe creation. AI also plays a role in spotting food trends, as seen with Waitrose identifying and capitalizing on popular items like smash burgers and crookies. Despite its potential, AI in the kitchen still requires human oversight to ensure the final product is actually delicious and marketable. And as AI continues to evolve, who knows, maybe one day it'll master the art of cooking. But until then, I'll stick with the tried and true method of calling a takeaway. See you next time. Hello, Domino's. I'd like that glue pizza again, please. Yeah, that was great. No, no, no problems with it at all.